Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically export new fresh text tickets to Google Sheets. So the idea is that if I create a new ticket in fresh text, the data of that particular ticket will be added into Google Sheets automatically. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between fresh text and Google Sheets. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates fresh text and Google Sheets. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my fresh desk account and this is my Google sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a dummy ticket in fresh desk and see whether the details of that particular ticket arrives in Google sheets or not automatically. Okay, so we have a contact. Okay, the name of the contact is let's say this one, Ragendra Soni, this one. Okay, the subject is about uh, tipping system not working. Okay, tipping system and the type I'm going with question or let's go with problem. Okay, and then the source is let's keep it as phone, the status as uh, open. Okay, and the priority I'm going with high, the group I'm adding is billing and the agent, let's ignore the agent, the agent is basically Ashmita Rayuli and uh, the description is uh, tipping system is not working okay so this is a small description and let me just straight away click on create okay so a new ticket called as tipping system has been created by a person called as Raki in the Sony and the agent who has created is Ashmita Rai so let's have a look do we have the details of this particular ticket in fresh text or not yes we do have the details so the ticket is that this is the ticket ID then we have the contact name, we have the contact email and then we have the subject, we have the description, tipping system is not working and the priority that is high. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Freshdesk to Google Sheet? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Freshdesk and Google Sheet. Now the important thing you have to know is, all you have to do is just build this workflow for once and once if this workflow is created, whenever a new ticket is added into your Freshdesk account, the data will be automatically added into Google Sheets. So let me show you the process. In the new tab, just type pably.com, p-a-b-b-l-y.com, pably.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pably.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already created an account. So let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pably. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm planning to give it as fresh desk to Google Sheets. Fresh desk to Google Sheets. Okay, and straight away, let me just click on create. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now we want to send the data from fresh desk. That is why in the choose app, let me just add fresh desk. Fresh desk is, it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new ticket? Okay, so basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate fresh desk to Google Sheets. Now before we do that, let's first integrate Freshdesk to Public Connect. And this is how you do it. So first of all, we have to follow all these instructions. Okay, it's too much. Okay, but it can be done very easily. Just follow my leads. So first of all, we have to go to Freshdesk account. So this is my Freshdesk account. Okay, then after that, in the left sidebar, you will find admin and automations. So this is my admin. Okay, I'm sorry, actually, I have to go to admin. So this is my admin. And here you will find automation. Okay, so let me just straight away search for automation because this page is very lengthy. Automation, yeah, this one. So let me just have a look at the automation. Okay, then what's next? Now in the run rule section, just click on new rule button. Okay, so new rule, I have clicked on the new rule and I suppose we have to give a name to this rule. So I'm going to give it as uh, Google Sheets ticket. Of course, you can give any name. It's totally on you. 
Google Sheets ticket. Okay, then what? Then we have already given the rule name field and we have to select the properties. Okay, so we are going with the properties. Now uh, we are going to work with tickets. Okay, now the condition is created. Okay, created during business hours. That would be the first condition. Now I'm also planning to create the ticket after business hours also. So let me add one more condition. Okay, create it once again. Okay, during, let's make it as after. I'm sorry. Create it during non-business hours. That will work. Okay, if the ticket is created during non-business hours. Okay, and what if the ticket is created in the holidays? So let me add one more condition. Is created or if created, created during holidays. That will also work. Okay, so we have three conditions. First, the ticket is created during the business hours. That's pretty obvious. But what if the ticket is created in non-business hours? So we have also added the condition. And also we have created a system that means if it is uh, if the ticket is created during the holidays. So we have three conditions. Now, basically, these are the conditions if the ticket is created, then what it should do. If the ticket is created, then what it should do. Now, that is why I'm going to select an action. Okay, so let me just add an action. I'm sorry, let me just delete this. We are just going to straight away add an action. Okay, so we just want to trigger the webhook. Okay, now uh, what else? So we have already selected the action as trigger webhook. After that, let me just post the request type. Okay, the request type as post. Okay, that's done. Then we have to copy the webhook URL. So where is the webhook URL? So this is the webhook URL. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. That's done. Okay, after that, choose the encoding as JSON, simple and advanced. Okay, JSON and simple. That's done. So I think we are ready. Okay, now before we do something, there are some conditions that we have to do. For instance, we have to enter the conditions. I mean, basically, we want to receive the data from some fields. Now, we want ticket ID, the subject, the description, the agent, the contact name, the contact last name, as well as the contact email. So these are the details we want. Okay, so these are the details we want. The ticket ID, the contact name, contact email, subject, description, and priority. So these are the details we want. So first of all, we add this field here. Okay, that is the ticket ID. So we it will send the data when a ticket ID is created. Okay, that's done. Then after that, we want the subject, I think. Okay, so that's the subject and we also want the description. You can ignore the ticket URL. We don't want that. Um, how about we go with the status? No, priority. Yes, we want the priority. And uh, do we have any rel anything related to customer or the contact? Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, contact first name and contact last name. Okay, let me just also add the contact last name. Okay, that's done. After that, we also want the contact email because that's pretty important. Contact email. Okay, I think that's done. Ticket ID, subject, description, priority, contact, first name, last name and email. So we will be receiving data of these fields. Okay, now if you want, you can add more fields, but I'm happy with these all. Okay, so let me just straight away preview and save. So the general idea is that when a ticket is created during the business hour, non-business hour and even during holidays, it will send the data to this particular address that is basically the webhook URL. Let me just straight away click on save and enable. Okay, so at present it is showing that uh, public is showing that it is waiting for the data. It basically means that anytime a new ticket is created in Freshdesk, it will send this data to public connect. So how about we create a new ticket? Okay, and um, the contact name is let's say Jerry. Jerry Macware. Okay, so this is the contact name and the subject is uh, on discount system. Okay, so they have problem with the discount system and uh, the type I'm keeping it as problem. The source is phone, the status as open, the priority as medium. Okay, and the group as uh, billing. Okay, and the description is uh, the discount system or program is not working. So that's the ticket. 
okay so if you want you can add the tags but i'm not interested so the ticket has been created and the agent that will be working will be ashmita rai basically the person who's holding this account and we have a guy called as jerry magwer okay so this is the guy who will be uh, who, who is also the contact okay and uh, this is about uh, the discount system is not working this is the subject so let's explore since a ticket has been created whether Babli connect has captured the detail because Babli connect is integrated with fresh desk so it is showing that it is waiting for the data give it one or two seconds okay so as you can see we have got the data we have the ticket id as 25 we have the subject as discount system now this is the description but uh, as you can see along with the description we have some html tags that we have to strip don't worry about that only important thing that we want is the discount system is not working this is the description that we want but other than this we don't want to uh, get all this data this is unnecessary so we are going to isolate this uh, detail first okay now we will do that but first let's have a look at the rest of the details we have the ticket priority as medium we have the first name as jerry then we have magwar that's the last name and this is the email address so what we're going to do here is we are going to enter all this data into google sheet now first as i mentioned earlier the first thing that we have to do is just uh, isolate the description part okay because as you can see we have this unnecessary html parts we have to get rid of them so this is how you do it you go to the action window and you select the app as uh, data data transformer data transformer this one okay and here you will find strip html tag strip html tags this one you simply just click on connect okay so now in the encoded string we basically want this data and this is how you do it you bring to bring this data here you click here you click here and this is the data and we have mapped it so when i click on save and send test request it will just show me the description that discount system is not working okay so technically we have isolated this characters okay this is the one this string that we wanted we have isolated it we don't want this all part we just want the this part we just want this part so we have isolated it now we are going to deal with google sheet okay so what we are going to do here is we are just going to introduce one more window and this window is again the action window and here i'm going to add google sheets in the action event how about we make it as add new row so you're obviously thinking why the action event is add new row now to explain you that let me just create a google sheet so my plan is i'm going to teach you from scratch so that is why let me just create a google sheet first okay go to google sheets and let's start with the blank sheet okay and we have to give a name to the sheet so how about i give it as new tickets from fresh desk okay so now we have to uh, fill in these columns i'm basically just going to copy all of this because i'm too lazy to uh, manually add all of them okay and let me just add it here paste it here so we have the columns the ticket the contact name the contact email the subject the description and the priority so the obvious question is why the action event is kept as at new row this is because uh, we are going to fill these cells these adjacent cells one by one thus creating a new row okay i repeat this again the reason why we have kept the action event as at new row is we are going to fill these adjacent cells one by one thus creating a new row okay so what we are going to do here is first of all let me just straight away click on connect we are going with the new connection just click on connect with google sheets okay so now we have to select an account so we are going with this account because uh, this particular google sheet is present in this account so let me just uh, click here okay now public connect wants access to my google sheet so before i press continue let me just tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press continue okay so the authorization is successful just press ok so as you can see we have some fields here and by default we have the first field that is select spreadsheet as new ticket from fresh desk so this is uh, the spreadsheet new tickets from fresh desk now when we click here you will find all the spreadsheet that is present in my gmail account or my google drive account so these are all the spreadsheet i have in my google drive but i'm interested in this sheet that is new tickets from fresh desk okay now we have to work on the select sheet so the select sheet is sheet one it is already showing so the select sheet as sheet one because there is only one sheet that is sheet one 
Okay, so let's start mapping. So as you can see, we have tickets, contact name, contact email, subject, description, and I think the last field is priority. So all these columns is now being shown as fields here. Now we are going to map all these one by one. So we have the first field that is for ticket. Now if you may remember, the ticket ID was 25. We are going to map this detail here. Okay, so let me just scroll down. Okay, we click here, we click here, and this is the ID 25. We have mapped it. Then we have to work on the contact name. The contact name was Jerry Magware. Jerry and Magware. Okay. So we have mapped the full name. Then we have the contact email. So this is the contact email. Okay. Jerry Magware123 at the rate gmail.com. The subject was about something discount system and we have mapped it. The description. The description is the discount system is not working, but this is wrong. Okay. So actually we have stripped the HTML tag. So we have to work with this action window. So let me just scroll down. Okay, let me just uh, remove this. And we are going to the second accordion. And this is the description we want. This is the correct description. Then the priority I think was medium and we have mapped it. So we have mapped all the details. Now to send this data to Google Sheet, all you have to do is just click on this blue button, save and send test request. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let's have a look. So we have the ticket that is 25, the contact Jerry Magware, the contact email Jerry Magware, 123 at the the discount system as the subject and the description discount system is not working and the priority as medium. So the presence of this data indicates we have a successful integration between Freshdesk and Google Sheet. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize the action window and let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Freshdesk to Public Connect and then you integrated Public Connect then actually bought in the data transformer to remove the HTML tags from description. Thereafter you have inserted all this data into Google Sheet. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Freshdesk and Google Sheets. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Also the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.